See, guys, I think that... And and this is like... This is something that I'm not a big fan of, of saying this. Because it absolutely sucks. Okay? What I'm about to tell you absolutely fucking sucks. Okay? The situation at Blizzard fucking sucks. Particularly for, you know, for the people that are working there. You know, the shit that they're going through is really fucked up. Okay? And by no means am I... the What I'm about to say... You know, is is something that I wish upon literally anyone. Okay, even my worst enemy. I Okay. My worst enemy, I don't know, because I, I have some pretty hot takes when it comes to my worst enemies. But anyways, I wouldn't wish anyone to have to suffer like the people over at Blizzard suffered, right? The abuse and all that shit. It's fucked up. But having said that, the situation over at Blizzard, it sucks for... The Blizzard employees. It sucks for the the people that were playing World of Warcraft, particularly the people that depend on World of Warcraft to earn a living, because I believe that they're probably being targeted for harassment right now by people who think they're so self-righteous that they need to engage on this massive boycott and fuck anyone that streams the game, right? I don't agree with those people getting harassed, and I think the situation really sucks for them. But... I think that what's happened to World of Warcraft is a net gain for the MMORPG genre as a whole. Because you're seeing a lot of people go out and try a lot of different MMOs. You know, whereas before they would just play World of Warcraft and literally nothing else. Now you're seeing people go out and try out Final Fantasy XIV. You're seeing people go out and try out you know, like me, I'm playing Guild Wars right now. Even though I'm not playing Guild Wars because of the World of Warcraft situation, like I was already playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I just decided that I would cover a couple of more MMOs. It's not because of the Guild Wars situation, right? But, the, the World of Warcraft situation. But there's a lot of players that are trying out different MMOs because of the World of Warcraft situation. And I think that for the genre itself, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because people expand their horizons and hopefully people will never look at another game the way that they looked at World of Warcraft, which I feel like to some people was downright an abusive relationship. The way that some people played World of Warcraft was downright abusive. And I think that overall, the MMORPG genre is going to greatly benefit over the fact that there's a lot of users out there now that are willing to take a shot on a different MMO. It's just, it's it's hard because there's a huge negative to the situation, obviously, right? There's a huge negative, and someone could even like clip some, some parts of this out of context and make it seem like, oh, look at Rurikon, he's happy over the shit that's happening at Blizzard. And I'll tell you what, there were times in my life when I was younger, and I didn't know any better. I actually wished Blizzard would go bankrupt because I was upset over some of the shit that Blizzard did. Nowadays, I probably wouldn't wish the same things. I would probably wish for them to, you know, get their shit together and actually go back to being the developer that they once were. Whether or not that's going to happen, I don't actually know. But, you know, you could edit what I just said and be like, oh, Rurikon just wants Blizzard to fail. I don't. But I'll tell you what, Blizzard's failure is going to be other companies' benefit. Because there's going to be... Like, I don't think there would be this many people in the in the start of Guild Wars. Because, like, there's actually a lot of players playing here right now. Like, we're not... We're not sitting here soloing this shit. We're actually seeing other players around here. You know? The, this is a... This looks to me like a healthy MMO right now. It's like a fallen tree. It's sad that it fell, but it also gives spaces to new trees in the forest. Yeah, there is that, I guess. Oh, yeah. Square is reaping the lion's profit. The, the lion's share of profit when it comes to the shit that went down. And I'll tell you what. Like, yeah, I'm playing Guild Wars 2 and all that. Because I'm all caught up on most of the things that I want to do in Final Fantasy 14. But Final Fantasy 14 is my main MMO. I want to make sure that people understand that. Like, whenever it comes to playing MMOs, Final Fantasy XIV is my go-to. 
But I like the the good thing about Final Fantasy XIV is that Yoshi P doesn't see this as a zero sum game, right? Yoshi P is like, hey, you should take a break, check out other games, which is a much more healthy attitude to your MMO than to be like, no, you have to play our fucking MMO 24 seven. If you're not playing our MMO, we're gonna make sure that you feel like shit. And it, it, it never feels like that with 14. Like that's a really good thing. 